do organic fruits and vegetables really offer more health benefits and is the price you pay for them justified? After all, the USDA estimates that organically produced food can cost anywhere from 10 to 30% more than conventionally grown food. My name is Dr. Kim Dalzell, founder of My Nutrition IQ. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to confidently make purchase decisions about your fruits and vegetables that makes sense for your own personal health goals and financial aid. Okay, over 90% of people surveyed by natural grocers said avoiding pesticides was the main reason for buying organic. And this is valid because 94% of us in the United States have detectable pesticide levels in our urine. But can eating organic produce really decrease your body's pesticide load? Well, several studies found that organic produce did contain far fewer pesticides and heavy metals than conventional produce. And it doesn't take long to create a profound shift in your body. One study found that people who ate an 80% organic diet for just one week reduced their pesticide residue by 96%. Buying organic, by the way, also assures you that your fruits and veggies will be non-GMO because genetically modified organisms are never allowed in organic production. Now, I can tell you that studies do indicate that eating genetically modified foods may upset the balance of the microflora in the GI tract, leading to digestive problems and gut damage. GMOs are prevalent in conventional food products. So in 2020, a study was conducted, 94% of soybeans and 92% of corn products were genetically modified. So if you're somebody who has a lot of digestive issues, choosing organics for this reason alone might be a smart choice for you. While the current research on GMOs and cancer risk are inconclusive, when it comes to pesticides, there are links to cancer. Some pesticides can cause hormone disruption or tissue damage. And while pesticide might impact hormone-driven tissues like prostate or ovarian, pesticides won't cause issues. Instead, they might attack the lungs or the skin. Let me give you an example here. Higher levels of organochlorine pesticide residues were linked to estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. And it was also found prevalent in IDC breast cancer patients. But the organochlorines were not identified as a risk factor for estrogen receptor negative breast cancer. So based on your health challenges, in a sense, Based on those challenges, wouldn't it be great to know which pesticides to avoid or limit? And this is precisely why a personalized nutrition plan from My Nutrition IQ makes so much sense. You're going to learn which pesticides and environmental chemicals are linked to your specific health concern. You're going to get a list of foods that contain these chemicals so you know what to avoid altogether, or you can choose organic versions of those particular foods. Now that's really investing in your health and saving money, isn't it? You can learn how to order your own personalized nutrition plan. It just takes a couple minutes. Boom, you're gonna gain immediate access to all the information for just $14.95. And that's a one-time fee. If you do this, you won't have to wonder if the foods you're eating are truly supporting your health. Now there is one more thing to know when it comes to choosing organics. About 40% of people surveyed chose organic produce because they believe it's more nutritious. Now, side-by-side -side comparisons of organic versus conventionally grown produce vary. Some studies show no difference. Other studies show, oh yeah, we've got higher levels of protective plant chemicals, better nutrients are gonna be found in the organic produce. But there is a bigger picture here. Data from a group of studies shows that organic crops contain up to two thirds more cell protecting plant chemicals and they have a 48% lower level of cadmium. This is a toxic heavy metal. So the benefit of eating organic goes way beyond avoiding pesticides. Look, if you want to be healthy, you need to eat large amounts of produce. Everyone agrees about that. And that does mean that your risk of pesticide exposure will likely be higher than people who don't eat as many fruits and veggies. 
Now I'm going to acknowledge here that we often need to make choices in how we spend money, even when it comes to our health. So there are some ways you can decrease pesticides on your plants if you can't choose organic all the time. Number one, order your personally plan. <laughs> it's going to give you a list of pesticides and associated food crops to avoid or consider purchasing organic versions of those foods. Number two, follow the general guidelines of the Environmental Working Group. They publish a free list called the Dirty 12 and the Clean 15. Number three, consider peeling your fruits and veggies if they're not organic and they are listed among the dirty dozen. Now, don't worry. If you eat lots of produce, you're going to get plenty of other opportunities to consume healthy plant chemicals and fiber because those are going to be significantly diminished when you remove the peels. Number four, purchase commercial wash. We like citrus magic wash or bioclean produce wash, or you can even make your own. Now avoid dish soap or Clorox for obvious reasons. You're just adding extra chemicals. A weak baking soda solution was really found to be the most effective at removing pesticide residues. And get this, number five tip, using plain tap water can significantly reduce nine of 12 different pesticides. The same result as using soap and wash products. Just be sure to use a little elbow grease on your plants since surface friction is the key to removing harmful pesticides. Finally, for those of you who are ready to take your health up a notch but aren't quite eating the recommended levels of nine to 11, 13, or 13 servings of produce every single day, consider adding a whole food plant-based powder to your diet. Now, this is really important. The dietitians at My Nutrition IQ recommend something that's been proven to have health benefits like DNA protection and immunity support, some of the very things that pesticides can do damage on. Best of all, these plant powders have been thoroughly tested for pesticides, chemicals, and certified non-GMO and gluten-free. Now, this is going to be a must when purchasing plant concentrates. There's a lot out there, but you want ones that have been tested for any impurities. You don't want concentrated pesticides, do you? To order, click on the link below or visit our website. Now, before I go, I hope you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel, especially if you'd like to be on top of the latest nutrition news, because you're going to be notified of a new video every week. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Dr. Kim Dalzell for My Nutrition IQ. That's all for now.